Welcome back. Joining me now, Mike Baudet of Five Investigates. He is also a professor at Northeastern University. That is where he met and worked with Zoc Ben Amotz, who produced the lynching of Henry Peg Gilbert. Thanks for joining me today. Henry Peg Gilbert's story represents the racial injustice that has led to the death of far too many black men throughout American history. Zoc, what do you hope viewers take away from his story? Well, I think that uh, there's a there's a few things, but with Henry Peg Gilbert's story in particular, uh, it's such a good example of how um, someone was punished simply for their success, um, and how uh, this family was really torn apart um, because of the fact that they had found uh, success in an unlikely setting, which was the South, uh, the rural South in the early 1940s, in the 40s. Um, and the other thing I hope that people can take away from this story, because it's intricately connected to the work of the Civil Rights and Restorative Justice Project, is um, just the fact that there are people who are dedicating their lives, uh, such as Professor Margaret Burnham, uh, to solving these cases, to finding out what really happened, and to honoring each of these men's individual stories, each of these individual stories of people who were killed uh, really for no reason at all except for who they were. All right, and Mike, you're here in Boston telling the story of a racially motivated killing in Georgia almost 75 years ago. What was the goal of this project for you? Well, it was an honor in the School of Journalism to work with the Civil Rights and Restorative Justice Project to tell this story. But I think one of the things they're focused on and what we think is so important in the School of Journalism, too, is Correct. shedding light on these cases, reminding people that these racially motivated murders happened again and again, and also the restorative justice part, getting these communities to acknowledge what happened. All right, Mike, Zock, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for sharing this important story with all of us. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday night for another additional edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.